The 20th century, a century of unprecedented change, technologically, socially, politically. It all began with such optimism. Europe had known peace for nearly a century, although North America had not been so fortunate. Perhaps the peace could last another hundred years. But 99 years after Napoleon had been defeated, an assassin's bullet killed an Austrian Archduke on a Bosnian back street, and the whole world was plunged into war. A hundred years on from then, what is the 20th century's great legacy now? What places are associated with it that spring to mind? Think of the Somme and the colossal slaughter in the trenches, the mustard gas, and the development subsequently of chemical and biological weapons. Or a bit later, the trains pumping the ovens of Auschwitz, Treblinka, Bergen-Belsen with people. And then the nuclear fate of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And then the Berlin Wall and the terror of the Cold War perhaps becoming hot. And more recently, the collapse of Yugoslavia and the ethnic cleansing in the Balkans. And the rate things are going now, will things be any different in the 21st century? Many of us doubt it. And one of the reasons is the lack of leadership. We've lost confidence in leaders. We don't trust them. Of course, they face problems that are simply too complex to solve but then we know that they conceal their agendas, even from their supporters. They seem more concerned with having power than using power to benefit others. And haven't we seen again and again their power used to silence, to oppress, to destroy the most vulnerable? We have nowhere to turn. At times, it feels like we are lost in a wilderness of mirrors. Or are we?